This is my really badly made mansion. Oh my god, the light is like not nice. Maybe I can fix it afterwards, but yeah, this is my really badly made matcha because I really liked a few that I've had when I've been out. I've not even had that many. When me and Lucy were in London, I had the most delicious blueberry matcha from Blank Street. Um, and I've been trying to replicate it. There's not blueberry syrup in this because it is actually like acid blue. Well, you would say acid green, but like, what's the word people use? looks radioactive, that's what I was trying to say. And I've had a few from Black Sheep that I really like as well. Belle made me one. She was actually, I think that was the first match I even had. But yeah, and I've been putting like too, like that's clearly got too much milk in it, but I've not worked out how I like it properly yet. So I'm, I'm experimenting. That was really, really long winded and really unnecessary, but um, what was I saying? So I've not really got much to do today. But I'm gonna sell some of my stuff on Depop because I had like kind of a clear out a few weeks ago. Because I do just have too much clothes. A lot of it's listed already because I went through it not too long ago. Some has not been set, some sold, some's not. It's all like sitting in the garage waiting. <laughs> but like Depop's weird like that. I feel like on Vinted, if things don't sell straight away, they're not gonna sell. But on Depop, I've got, I've just sold like a jumper that's been up genuinely for a year. Yeah, I don't have much to sell, some of it's really boring, but I'm gonna take full spur anyway because I like my Depop to look pretty, so I do take like photos wearing it and stuff. I feel like on Vinted, I would just like post a photo of it on the floor, but I like making it look nice for Depop. Little clips, I'm meeting a few people for coffee this week that are like home, I haven't seen for ages, so probably take you with me. Um, and then New Year's because it's the 28th, so I've got New Year's to come. I have just, some of my stuff from my outfit has arrived. I think I'll get rinsed for it, but like I also love it. You'll see. You will see. It's, I think it's really cute. And it's like incorporating stuff I'm loving at the moment. Like if you went onto my Pinterest, the entirety of my Pinterest is either leopard print, red tights, or like gingham fabric and I found a way to kind of oh also obviously like this more timeless but like Mary Janes I love Mary Janes and I don't own a pair but I ordered a pair the other day I then had one pound in my bank account afterwards but it was worth it I've got a few pieces I'm gonna sell pieces I say that like I'm like selling on best year although one of them I probably could list on best year this being the one I could sell on best year I loved it so much, it just doesn't fit me right. I got to focus. Oh. I wanted it to work so bad. I love, I also am loving plaid at the moment and I just love it. And it's such a cute like mini, it's gonna be a mini dress, it was kind of midi on me. And it's got this ribbon detail like as a belt. Oh. And it's Burberry, so like plaid from Burberry is even better. I'm gutted. This is what I do when I'm not sure about selling something. I'll put it up for quite expensive. And if it sells, great, I've got the money. If it doesn't sell because it's quite expensive, then I'll find a way to use it in a slightly different way. Like maybe I will, my mom's really good at sewing. I want to learn. We do have a sewing machine, it's just broken, but I want to kind of learn how to alter and maybe even like get my own fabrics and make things. But maybe I can find a way to like do something. If you saw me in Gary's circa like at any point early to mid 2022, I will have been wearing this. It's an urban cargo skirt. That I just thought the like embroidery dragon was so cool. It was more so when I didn't necessarily know exactly what my personal style was. And this was this was me. I considered this branching out. I do still love her dearly. She served me well. She's just had her time. Yeah, I'm also loving this top. 
even though it's pissing me off because it's not sitting right but that's more because i'm just sat down it's from birkin and it's really pretty and it's like the sleeves only go slick there i'm loving also wearing bracelets over sleeves but i don't uh, this is like the only bracelet that i have though would do this oh my god where's my other one it's falling under how are you? Got me this one for my 18 baby Benz. Baby Benz from Gallery Mirage. Hey Claire, what's up? I never took We're listening to Baby Benz Radio. Episode 7. Only on Baby Benz Radio. Baby Benz Radio. So just further confirmation of my current obsession with gingham and red to be honest although mostly inspired by harriet because went to stay with her in aberdeen and she has the cutest very 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 similar like red gingham plaid whatever you want to say um she's what's she doing i'm literally just gonna go and binge watch old devon lee crossing now might go make a cup of tea Bye. Oh my god, is that Adriana Lima? <laughs> oh my god, no photos. Please. Oh my god. Adriana Lima, do you have something to say to <laughs> You dropped your Stanley? <laughs> Money tastes good? No. Food That's... tastes good? No. Guinea doesn't taste as good. Do you want some do you want some help? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Nothing tastes as good as skinny feels. And it feels skinny. <laughs>